Hi guys! So for today's craft with me video, it's gonna be super fun, you guys. We are going to use up all of our stamps that we've been getting, and I know that I'm not the only one, <laughs> that we've been collecting and collecting and collecting stamps. And so I found this really fun way to use up our stamps. I've been doing it for a while now. I just never recorded myself doing it, so I'm gonna do it this time. So what we're gonna need is your favorite stamps. And of course, I got my new ones out, the Kathy Holden. I got my new Tim Holtz that I got. This one I think is called the Steampunk. So I got that. I got my Sam Pool, my Entomology, Field Notes. I got the smaller stamp sets that come with the stencils, Tim Holtz. I got, of course, my favorite, the school desk. And then we got these large, large ones that we got from, where do we get these from? Uh, Globlin? Yeah, Globlin. That's where I got those these huge ones that are like 8 by 11 or something. So we're going to use up our stamps. So get your favorite stamps out. And then we're going to get out all of our inks. Of course, I got the basic black. I got a couple blending brushes and I got all of my stamps. So we can use either the, the basic black or you can even go into your, your Distress Oxides, your Distress Ink, whatever it is that you wanna do. Let's do maybe the Walnut Stain if we wanted to. Um, if we wanted to add a color, then we can, but I'm not telling you exactly. Well, okay, fine, I'll tell you. But let me show you the rest of the stuff first. This is Manila colored paper, like the Manila folders. So this is just the, pa the paper. So it's like regular weight cardstock. I would suggest using this type of cardstock, um, like the little, little bit heavier weight, not just the regular thin paper. Cause I was thinking about using maybe some of my coffee dyed paper, but I think that's too thin for what I want to use it for. So let's get maybe this color because what we're going to do and of course, some type of something, you know, scrap piece of paper or something. This is something that they gave me at the store that I could use. Um, they wrapped up one of my items that I purchased and so they gave me that. So I'm gonna use that to kind of take care of my surface here. So what we're gonna make is background paper. I've been seeing it um, on Etsy, you know, that you can you can get these background papers and um, they're beautiful. But I kept thinking, I could make them myself. I have all of these stamps, I have all of these inks, so why not try and make some? And so, guess what? We're making our own background papers. And then after this, next week, because I know today's Friday, Next week, we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you another way to use up your background um, papers. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do basic first. I'm going to, let's go into a lighter color since I want to distress kind of around it so that it looks a little grungy because, you know, that's, that's my, that's my jam. So let's do vintage photo. We'll do that better. So we're going to use Vintage Photo. Get one of your little um, blending brushes and we're just gonna go around the corners and kind of blend it out. So we're just gonna keep going around, blending around. Just so that it looks grungy and kind of Really, I mean, I guess we can go around the edges and with like maybe a darker color or something. Now all of these strokes, it's not a big deal because we're gonna stamp over it so you're really not gonna be able to tell all of these different like little swirly, <laughs> your little swirlies that you're putting, but either way, I think it looks cool. So we're just gonna distress around. I do all the way around first and then I'll do a little bit in the middle because you kind of want, you know how things get automatically, you know, grungy or, or old looking and it's always around the corners. And so 
that's why I like to kind of stress a little bit more around the edges. And then once we're done, we can maybe go with a darker color ink. And so look at this. And there you go. If you guys wanted fake coffee dyed paper, <laughs> there you go. See, this is it. Isn't that cool? So if you're in a bind and you need coffee dyed paper, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use basic black for right now. And then we're just gonna start stamping. But because it's a background, I like to kind of start off with my bigger stamps. Something that I know is gonna take up quite a bit of space. And for me, I kind of like to do like a focal point in the middle, but you know, everybody do your, do your thing. And so what I'm gonna use is my entomology, and I'm gonna use this big one, this script, and I'm gonna use that as my first, oh my gosh, and guess what? I didn't even bring my blocks. Give me one second. <laughs> Did you hear me run? <laughs> I brought, I forgot all my blocks. I brought everything else except my blocks. Okay, I got them all now. Okay, I need this big one. And we're gonna ink this way. Now I brought you guys to this table because when I'm doing stuff like this and I'm moving my desk around, you guys know it ends up moving everything. And so since I'm here on my kitchen table, it's not gonna move you guys around so much. So, I'm just gonna start off here in the middle. Doesn't have to be exact. And then it doesn't even have to be like perfect. Ha, cool. Okay, let me get, I should have brought my wipes. You know what, I can clean them later. So there's that. Now, let's go into maybe this one. I like the letters and stuff on this. So this one is the school desk, right? Yeah. And this one has a bunch of fun ones, but we're gonna use this one for right now. I'm gonna use this block. And then you just kind of go around. You don't have to fill up the whole paper, but you can if you want. So I've seen some that are, let me see, is this right side up? This way? I like to go off the page just a little bit so that it looks like it's like ongoing. You know what I mean? Like there's no border on it. So I like that. Let's do this other big one. So I kind of like to do big ones first and then we fill up the spaces in with the smaller ones. So here's another big one. So we'll see if we can make a couple of them so you guys can see like different options. But you're definitely gonna wanna come back this is kind of like a, wait, let me go back to my original thought. You wanna come back on Monday because Monday, oh, I did it upside down, but it's okay. On Monday, I'm going to uh, show you guys other ways that I use my, um, my background papers. I need to think of a better word. Is it background? Should I name it background papers or should I put it um, what else could it be? It's kind of hard to tell when you don't have the picture of it in front of you. And some might say, oh, but the stamp on the back, if it's right side up, then it'll show you. But no, because I've done that and it's not always right side up. So I'm just going to do this. I think that this is the right way up. Okay. 
let's do let me see those are numbers over there so let me do numbers over here see it's not <laughs> it's wrong half of it is going to be right side up and the other half is not i can't tell with the numbers <laughs> but you know what we're going to keep going that's what we do okay let's see um let's see what other ones we have in here there has there's there really doesn't have to be any theme to it but if you know me i like to kind of have themes with mine and i'll show you other ones that i have that i've made already i made quite a few because i was kind of going at it let me see this one yeah this is the top so let's put it this way okay now it doesn't have to be exact guys let's see let's put this here oh i think i jumped it a little bit that's okay yeah i did that's okay the good thing with these it's kind of like uh the master board or like the collage board i don't know whatever you call them because using these you can use it pretty much in the same manner because of the fact oh i put that inside out Duh. because of the fact that it's pretty much you know like a collage but of your stamps instead of your scrap papers let's do this this doesn't have a right side up does it And so you can pretty much use these the same way, but with your stamps. And I'm telling you, when you get started, you're not gonna wanna stop because you're just gonna wanna keep using all of these different stamps that you have. Perfect. And I actually brought out, I have a cart full of stamps. A cart <laughs> I found this little cart at Target and it's perfect because it fits it fits perfectly like those those fabric cubbies that you kind of put into the cube cubbies it fits into that and let me see yeah and so I found one that's on wheels and it has three shelves on it and so I bought like those acrylic organizers, those ones that, um, the edit, what? The home edit, that company from that, um, I think they were on Netflix, the two ladies, they have like these plastic um, cube organizers and they, I bought two of the bigger size of theirs and they're perfect because since I have all of my stamps in these that I hauled from Amazon, these little plastic um, snap envelopes. And so they're actually really good and it works out perfect. So like that, I'm able to ha um, haul them around with me or lug them around, whatever you wanna say. That would be cute here. And so wherever I go, which I'm normally in my little crafty corner, it's not a room, it's a corner. But, ooh, excuse me. And so I'm normally there, but I'm thinking, you know, with bigger things like this where I need more space, then I could come over here where I normally do my hauls, and you guys will recognize that. And I'll have more space on this side. Okay, let's see what else do we want to use. I have, should we use some of the field notes? This is fun. Let's do this one, put that here. Um, I'm gonna need another size. Here. 
then you just start filling in the spots. But like I said, it doesn't have to be stamped perfectly. So you can pretty much use it however you like. Uh, let's do this one. here I'm glad I kept this big paper because this really it gives me a, a bigger space to work on I like these big these big um, square ones well they're not really big but let's put this one over here to the side So cool. Okay, should we do a round one? Let's do this round one. So if you guys liked doing the master board, you guys are gonna love this one. Let's put this one here. Because we have like little words and stuff that we can put words, numbers, stuff like that that we can put in the smaller the smaller spaces. Okay, and let's see. Um, should we do, uh, let's see, should we do the birds and stuff? Let me see, do I have anything else that's bigger? Ooh, yeah, why don't we use this one? This one's the steampunk, and I know that this one's older. This is an older set, let me see. This is from, does it say, normally it says the year, 2012 that's how old this one is oh but i love it isn't it cool so cool let's use let's put the three men on the bottom the three gentlemen the little dapper men oh you see now this is brand new i've never even used this before so let's see how this is going to stamp do you guys prep your stamps before you actually use them <gasps> that looks so cool that looks so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so intrigued. Okay, we're gonna put this one on the bottom. This is gonna be cool. Ooh, oh man. That was so cool. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, let's see what other one really neat you know sometimes i feel like tim holt stuff really doesn't need to be prepped but i could be wrong like i said i'm still new to this stuff so you guys can teach me along the way those of you that have done this longer and those of us because i know that i've been getting comments saying that they're new to this whole journey too and they absolutely love it. Okay, let's put this one up here. This one fits perfect, I think, right? Let's put this here. Oh, it's so much fun to use. Ooh. Come on, you can't tell me. You can't tell me that this isn't cool. If there's any stamps that I'm using, you guys, that you guys want links to, if I can, I will most definitely link them for you. But you need to tell me which one, which one you need, okay? And I will be more than happy to help. Let's put this one here. That fits perfect there. So, but a lot of my stamps I did get on Amazon. That's why I'm trying to tell you guys um, what the names are so that if you guys want any of the stamps that I'm showing, then let's do this little clock thing. Then you guys could, um, I'll just do it on this one. 
you guys can look it up on Amazon. I'm trying to get an Amazon storefront, you guys, because I know that I've been showing you guys a lot of stuff from Amazon, but I keep applying and they don't let me. They keep saying not yet. So I'm gonna keep trying. First, because it'll be easier for you guys. And second, it'll help me out. Let's see, what does this one say? If uh, the impossible is often the untried. Ooh, let's do the ruler. We'll do the ruler. I'm trying to do bigger ones so that at the end we can fill up with the smaller ones. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one at though. It might have to go. Let's see. This way yeah because I don't have any other it's gonna have to go here let's put it yeah let's just put it here I have been wanting a stamp that has the ruler on it so when I found that Tim Holtz had one oh oh good I was gonna say oh my gosh I messed it up but no it's fine Ooh, so that was fun okay Let's keep using bigger ones, and then we'll come back to those later. So let's see what other ones we have that are bigger. Uh, let's see. No. No. Just ones that'll kind of fit better in like the corners and stuff. Let's see about, should we try using these? Mm, let's see what other ones. I feel like, okay, let's just try it. We'll try this one. Do they smell? They smell like acrylic. You know, like the, like, um, like when you pass like a nail shop. I say pass because I don't go in one. But when you pass it, I smell it. <laughs> you smell all the acrylic or whatever it is. That's what it smelled like. Okay, let's put this one here. That'll look pretty. I feel like this one's going to be sticky. You know how the newer ones are always sticky? A little bit, not too bad. And let's see what else we could use. That's more of a bigger one. Let's do maybe this. Where, do, where could this fit? Maybe here or here? Yeah, let's try to put it here since it's kind of, it's not very full there. So we're gonna use this one. This one is the sign here by Kathy Holden with all the signatures, isn't that cool? I'm trying to keep all the packaging together so that I can put everything back when we're done. So let's put this one, oops. Beware, your hands are gonna get inky. I love it when they're new and you, um, you use them for the first time when they're clear and then you add the ink and it's like magic. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Like it like magically appears. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have another round one. Should I put another round one somewhere? Mm, where could I put it? I guess I could put it here since that one's very light there. I can put this round one. Ooh. See, I told you, they get sticky. I can put this here. This one says postage 
Uh, carried away return. What? Ooh, man, these, these stamp really nice. Luckily, because my, my table, because it has like those ridges in the wood, luckily that's not kind of bothering or hindering my, my masterpiece so that it's not going all weird. Mm, let me see what else. Um, let's do this one. This one with the words on it from the, the steampunk set. I guess we can start getting out the smaller ones, right? Let's put this this way. Not everything has to be right side up. As you can tell, I have two that are upside down, but it's fine. Like I said, there's no right way or wrong way. Okay. Let's put, um, let's put this little admit one, will that fit here? Do you think it's, it's too much? Maybe it's too much. Cause I don't want all of my stamps to overlap. Maybe the arrow, right? Yeah, the arrow's better. We'll do the arrow. something bigger over here uh, let's see I wonder if I do these stars here right that would look good let me do it this way duh yeah that'll fit perfect actually so let's do that one nice and long do this this way I love how cushiony these stamps are so you know that you're gonna get a really good impression okay should we do bugs mm, should we let's see what are the bigger ones that we have on these in this big set uh, we could do like a big number or let's see this one this one has like stamps and stuff how about we do agent let's let's see how these stamp Agent 29, right? That one's nice and bold. I like to have a few bold ones in here. Oh, you can totally compare <laughs> the quality of the stamps compared to like the Kathy Holden or 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 the um, Tim Holtz because these from Globlin are a lot more flimsy. But I think this will look really good here. So we're gonna put this here. Cool. Okay. Let's see. And then, what else? What else can we use? Uh, how about this Buenos Aires one? This one looks like a, kind of like a ticket kind of thing. Right? That'll work. Put it more on the corner. So let's do this. Probably 
probably could have done that a little bit more, but that's okay. So let's put that right on the corner. Oh, see, I think it's my table. I didn't let it stamp right, but I'm not gonna go over it again because and then it's gonna look funny if I don't line it right. So, but that's okay, we're leaving it. I'm not gonna go over it again. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. So this one goes like this. And then let's see, what else could we put? Uh, I kind of like this one, but I'm thinking it might be too big, yeah. Uh, around one. No, let's go into the, um, we're going to go back to the field notes because I think, yeah, this one, this one will work out better here. Yeah, I like that. And you guys can always, um, Copy, double side it, you know, like copy this side and then double side it with another, with another, or if you want to, you know, distress the background, like our fake coffee dye, you know what I mean? And do like a, like a double sided print. And then there you have it. You got a, a page for your you got a background page for your um, journals or something. How about this? Does this fit here? Oh my gosh. It's like it was meant to be. So this is going like this. Perfect. Let me just do it this way really quick. I put that here. Okay, now we're getting out the little ones. I still need something long to go here. I think maybe numbers or something. Let's see, where did this come from? Like I don't have it all organized anymore since I took off the other, uh, let's see. No, oh, that one's too long. Uh, does this fit here? No. I can put this here. Should I put that there? I feel like this little stamp down here really didn't stamp very well. I should have done it a little bit darker. That's okay. Let's see, how about the figure? That'll work there. Okay. Look at how cool it's looking, right? Okay. I think I saw, let's see, is it on this one that I saw numbers? No, those numbers are too big. Let's go back to, which one is this one? This is the sign here. This one has numbers. Yeah. This one. We want it a little bit straight so that it fits pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do that this way. Cool. And then let's see, we have more. Uh, this goes this way. I kind of like this little one here. We can put that maybe here. I need a smaller block. I feel like I'm gonna get ink on that big one. So this one could go here. Yeah. Ay ay ay. It's sticking to my fingers. So we'll do that. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do that this way. And let's see. What else? Are we done? Should I do something there? Right? I think I need something there. 
we could do this other number, this one. I think this one will fit good here. Yeah, that'll work. My hands are not as inky as I thought that they'd be. Inky, is that a word? <laughs> well, maybe a little one here? Oh, I know. We'll put the one that says good work. And we'll put that here. Cute, right? Let's see, it goes this way. Yeah. Mm. This way. Good work. <laughs> Cute. Well, what do you think? I'm gonna put this little number stamp. You know, you can just keep going because anytime you see like a little something that's a little too, a little corner there is bugging me. Number 12 and a half, that's what this one says. There. All right, now we're done. What do you think? Okay, no, we're not done. I like to add, to grunge it up more, splatters. Just anywhere and everywhere different directions so they're not all going the same. little empty hole that I have here. <laughs> cool. There you have it. What do you guys think? Wasn't that fun? Just a little collage of all your stamps. I call it my backgrounds because you can use this for anything and everything. Let me show you ones that I've made already. Let's kind of move this a little out so you guys can get a, a peek at other ones that I've made because like I said when I start something and I and I like it I end up doing it all the time let me grunge up just a little bit the edges I'm gonna do ground espresso because I really like the way the edges look I didn't bring my other one I just like the darker. Yeah, ooh, that looks cool. It's kind of got like a little, a very thin black border, but it's not black, it's brown. Yeah, that looks neat. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna lightly do it this way just around the edges with the darker one. Because remember we used um, vintage photo. So just to kind of grunge it up just a little bit around the edges. Cool. Oh my gosh. Just a little bit more over here. And I think we're done. <gasps> so neat. So neat. Okay, so this is the one we made today. 
And then I made, I made a lot. Here's another one. This one I did more of a script kind of theme with the typewriter in the middle. This one I did more of the bugs. <laughs> but isn't that neat? With the bingo in the middle. And then here's another one. This one I didn't add as much. See how these are completely filled? This one I didn't. I left a lot of empty space because I used my my stencil with the coffee stains, the Tim Holtz one. I used that to kind of fill up a little bit more. So here's another option. And this one I did grunge all the way around with the dauber. So there's that one. Then I added, this one's more of a travel one. And this one, I used the stencil with the stars. I have a, st a stencil that I got from Michael's and it was like a dollar or something. It was super cheap. And so I did this more of a travel theme. And so I added blue and green along with those stamps and then the star stencil. And then I made this one. And this one is just random all the way around, but I love the red and blue. These I think are more tickets. These are all like little tickets and stuff with numbers. But isn't that neat? Look how many I made. So there is so many options, so many different ways to keep making them. And then you scan them or, or copy them and you'll have them forever for all your projects. And so again, you can use them as uh, cover pages. You can use them, or not cover pages, you can use them as your um, journal pages or journal covers. You can scan them and make them into journal pages. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff, but come back on Monday so that you guys can see what else I've made with these. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is gonna be so much fun for you guys to try. Let me know if you guys do and uh, share pictures with me. Don't forget to send them to me so that I can see. Um, my email is always linked down below if you guys ever wanna contact me for anything. Um, but that's it, you guys. I'm so glad that you guys were with me today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Thanks, guys.